I want to play this for you. Is, is this perhaps the dumbest and cringiest woke corporate virtue signal of all time? And I know that's saying something. We had Oreos yesterday. You know, Oreos putting an ad out uh, about a uh, an Asian kid coming coming out as gay to his grandmother. Nothing to do with Oreos whatsoever. No attempt to even circle it back to uh, to Oreos. Well, now another snack food has gotten in on the action. This is from the Daily Wire. It says, the makers of Cracker Jack, uh, of course, the caramel popcorn snack, popular at baseball stadiums, and prominently featured in the classic baseball anthem, Take Me Out to the Ball Game, is receiving a woke repackaging, including a rewriting of the song with a gender equality message. So they have rebranded themselves as not Cracker Jack, but Cracker Jill. And they wrote on their website, sometimes all it takes to believe you can do something is to see someone who looks like you do it first. It's in this spirit that Cracker Jack proudly introduces Cracker Jill, a team of new faces showing girls that they're represented even in our most iconic snacks. I understand the need for this. Okay, I, I can't, I, I can't, I'll never forget the first time I was in the snack aisle with, uh, with my daughter and she saw the Cracker Jack box and she just broke down in tears. She saw Cracker Jack and she said to me, Daddy, does this mean that, that I can't pursue my own dreams? And I said to her, yeah, it does. That's exactly what it means. But now that they've rebranded to Cracker Jill, I can go home and I can tell the news to my daughter. That you see, they rebranded to Cracker Jill so you can do anything that you want in your life. Don't all women look to snack companies for their inspiration and motivation in life? Well, this is about to get really inspiring because, uh, as mentioned, they rebranded the song to Take Me Out to, a ball, to the Ball Game to give it a little bit of a feminist bent. And uh, let's listen to that. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and crack a chill. No one can stop you if you have the will. So let's root, root, root for a girl's dream. We're adding our face to the game. And we'll run, throw, with never a doubt. It's a Play ball. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. That's even, that's even harder to get through than the Joe Biden video. Crackerjill.com. You can go. Now, this is, if they expect that people are going to start actually singing that at baseball games, there is less chance of that than there is that uh, Hispanic people will actually start calling themselves Latinx. There's even less chance that that's going to happen. And I, I, I don't need to say it, I know, but I, but I have to, because this is all about defending women's sports, they say, or it's about encouraging women. Well, what is that exactly? And it's, it's kind of inter- it's interesting timing that now they've decided to come out uh, about women's sports when there is only one threat against women's sports, and it's from the trans agenda. There are no other threats. But we can assume that Cracker Jill is, uh, they're not trying to make any statement about that. We can assume that. Listen, hit that subscribe button right now. Do it right now. I thank you for your compliance. It is somewhat appreciated.